Hello Heavy Metal Men and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am showing you my entire belt collection. <laughs> it's a lot of them. I say that with every single one, don't I? I mean, I think, yeah, I wouldn't bother showing you if there wasn't many. <laughs> so, but before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and thank you to everybody who already does. Hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever I upload, and welcome. So, my belt collection. When I did my room tour, I'll link that up there and down in the description, I basically gave you a whistle-stop tour around all of my collections. <laughs> so, and basically, th from the comments, lots of you asked for different collections. Today, we're going to do the belts. We'll get onto the shoes, but I'm still kind of... I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. There's so many of them. <laughs> so, we will get there. I think I'm just going to have to categorise them. But, the belts today. Okay, we're going to start from, I would say, my most ordinary belts as it were okay some of these are quite old from this section um, i have a red little skinny belt this is from top shop so this is real leather actually so i'm not going to get rid of this it just could do with the polish but this is just you know a little skinny thingy belt goes around your waist you know i i um denied about keep about whether or not i should keep these but you know what for like a 50 style outfit or something a little skinny belt like this really makes the difference. It just nips you in. And I am very straight up and down. I don't ha really have a natural waist. There's maybe an inch or so difference on either side. It's very, very minimal compared to, you know, that beautiful hourglass shape that a lot of people have. So I have to make the illusion of a waist and things like a black thing, black dress with one of these little skinny belts really does that. I have a collectif long dress with you know the two buttons and the sort of little capped puffy sleeves it was my go-to dress um and that is really great for like weddings and things like that because it's plain and you can just stick a belt on so we've got the little red top shop we've got a little purple oh this is a top shop too uh, this is slightly textured this one i've got a leopard print miss selfridge one i have shoes that match this actually and I, well actually there's another leopard print belt in here depending on what the outfit is so i have my my skinny belts here i think that's all the skinnies yeah right so then we've got pyramid studded belts we have this one that i got from believe it or not a county fair you find these things in all sorts of weird places it was a fiver can't go wrong with that can you so this is another pyramid studded belt this one i got at download festival i think because i'd been wanting one for a while i had a specific dress that i wanted it to go with nice little belt again i think this was only maybe five ten pounds this believe it or not is from primark it's one of these like western style buckle belts i actually end up with my daughter borrowing this quite a lot because she has a couple of dresses that they look great when they're belted that is in an upcoming video we have a, a kids haul coming so yeah i will obviously show you some footage of her looking adorable in this ah here we go here's the other leopard print one i'm almost certain this is from might be primark might be h this is 15 years old this one i had like a leopard print dress it was a leopard print skirt black bib front with little leopard print details and straps it was from h&m but after i had the kids that i just could not ram myself back into that it didn't matter how much weight i lost i had changed shape and you know i was okay with that it's fine it's fine that's what happens when you have babies i was a little sad to have to say goodbye to the dress i think more because of the memories but yeah i used to wear this with it quite a lot because it just looked really cool having the little leopard print thing at the front but again this looks great with that lovely collective dress really really like this belt with that okay then we have this belt here with the square pyramid studs again this is from top shop this is at least 10 if not 15 years old this belt comes up quite big this is great for if you've got like a really thick multi-layered like waterfall drape top and you want to belt it this is great for over the top of it because it's bigger than usual so it it fits really nicely or if i'm having a you know a month where i'm not feeling particularly slim this belt fits and i can belt it and pull my waist in rather than being like all my belts hurt <laughs> so, 
because I hate that when you put on a bit of weight and then you're like, oh, I can't breathe, my belt hurts. <laughs> so this is my go-to belt for when I'm in that situation. Okay, so as I said, before I was really went back to goth fashion, I was very rockabilly. I probably had about four or five years of being very gothabilly, rockabilly, sort of that very 50s style look. And so I picked this up from H&M with this really beautiful little beetle on. I was very into beetles for a while. I had a hoodie with this beautiful like turquoise beetle on it. It's a gorgeous hoodie and um, it's grey. So I ne almost never wear it because it's not black. But um, yeah, it's a lovely hoodie, especially if you're just, you know, smooching about the house or whatever. Okay, the rest of this box, the rest of this entire box is what I would call purse belts. Do you know what I mean? Those 50s style, three, three, I don't know what you call them, three button, I suppose, purse belts. They're all stretchy. They're all, all of them are from Hell Bunny. So I have two of these black ones because I lost one for like a year and a half. So I bought another one again when I was at a country fair and then found it. So <laughs> we have two black ones, but hey, you can never go wrong with a black belt. We have this one, which is this Hell Bunny? This might be Hell Bunny. This might be might be criminal damage, but I'm not sure. This has got a nautical anchor on it. This is slightly wider than all the others, as you can see. Not much in it, maybe half an inch, but ever so slightly wider. Then we have one with cherries on. Lovely cherry print. We have silver sparkly we have purple this isn't a hell bunny this one i got off ebay but it's exactly the same as the hell bunny they just didn't do a purple one when i wanted one so i bought that one instead we have red my signature color we have, what else have we got? oh we've got we've got white surprisingly enough i bet you wouldn't have thought i have a white one but actually i do love a monochrome look and i used to really like that sort of nautical sailor style i've still got my little sailor cardigan and a few little tops like that and then we have spotty now you probably don't see me in these very much in my instagram pictures but i do actually wear these quite a lot when i go to work because i have some hell bunny capri pants in i have like four or five different pairs of those and then i just wear like a little black primark top one of those belts I've got lots and lots of band cardigans uh, with like, one's got like a little goth ice cream lady on it. Um, and then I've got ones with cherries on and stuff like that. They look fantastic with those. So what I might do is somebody asked for a video of what I wear to work. If you fancy that, if you want my more goth billy look, then please let me know and I will show you what I wear to work, which is still, very alternative, but definitely not as pure goth as you are used to seeing me in. It's not what I wear out, out anymore. Used to be, but I, because the clothes, I think they look really smart. So I think it's great for work. I mean, to be honest, they don't care what I wear to work. I'm in a lab coat all day, but I care what I wear to work. These actually, funnily enough, are all necessary evil belts. So we have the studded belt that comes from the Aphrodite kimono top. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it up there or, you know, I love this belt. So you can't buy this belt alone, but if you buy the Aphrodite kimono top, which is in the buy one, get one sale on Kate's clothing at the moment, by the way, just a heads up there, you get this. In fact, I, mine came with two, <laughs> so, <laughs> which was great because one of them, one of the studs was missing. Here's the other one. Here's the broken one. So yeah, I have two, but it's always handy to have an extra one. And also then it means if my daughter goes, can I have a studded belt? I can go, yeah, you can have the slightly broken one because you're not breaking my good one. <laughs> so, I have my gorgeous bat wing belt from my bats and leather, something like that video that I did a while ago. I will put the link up there and down in the description. This belt is gorgeous. I love this belt. It just is so flattering. Where it's got like this peplum on it here, it's really, really flattering. And the leather's not too thick, so it's not bulky at all. It's, it's you know, it's nice and thin. They've done a collar, which is here which is made out of the same thing. So you can have a batty collar and a batty belt. It looks amazing together. It looks amazing together. Really, really like this belt. It's really comfortable. I think if it was a thicker leather, it would dig in and be uncomfortable. So I really appreciate this being thin. I mean, it's not real leather, it's faux leather, but I appreciate it being quite thin. Um, right now, 
I have what I call my my holster bags I suppose these are those little bags that they strap around your waist and then you strap it onto one or more legs I love these these are great these are fantastic with the necessary evil jumpsuit I have a velvet one and a plain one so <laughs> I just love a jumpsuit but sometimes I think with the jumpsuits you need a belt of some sort to just break up the jumpsuit so that you don't look like wandering around in a giant le leotard really and these are great these are also fantastic if you're in a mosh pit or something like that because it literally straps it to your leg so you can put your phone and some money and stuff in here and yeah that's it it's not going anywhere so I have this one this one is definitely still available and again I think it's in the buy one get one free sale this one I don't think it is I might be wrong I think this one is a pretty old style this is the first one I ever bought I bought this when I got the original um, jumpsuit and I bought this at the same time and I absolutely love it this is great it's got like a little phone pocket here you can't get the giant phones in. you can get a smaller phone in uh, and and again these it just looks fantastic this one's got two straps so it gives it but it doesn't strap to your leg so two straps around your waist not to your leg though but I, I really like having the option of do I strap it to my leg and have one big thick waistband or do I strap it and have two skinny thin waistbands they look amazing amazing on right on to the third box <laughs> I told you I had a lot of belts right so this belt I hadn't worn this in ages this is from Miss Selfridge it's real leather really good stretch it's got like these heart shaped paddles here with this like dark pewter buckle on it it looks fantastic with my exo umbra dress i don't know it's just exactly the right shape it sits in the right place it's the right tautness looks amazing i mean that dress looks great with quite a few belts but this is the belt that i keep going back to when i'm wearing this i sometimes wear that exo umbra dress to work if i'm feeling a bit gothy and then obviously this isn't too like out there so this looks that's great i get i do get a lot of compliments walking around the hospital in this i think a lot of people really really vibe with that what else have we got oh okay if you ever need a corset style belt i got this off of amazon it was by recommendation of the amazing thunderella again i will link her blog down in the description as well that girl knows how to budget goth shop oh my god does she know how to bu budget goth shop and she recommended this to me i think this was about eight pounds i want to say i can't quite remember i know i bought it for the goth outfit under 30 pound video that i did probably about a year ago now again i'll link that up there but this is great it, it it's sized as well so you can pick your size looks like a corset you know and gives the illusion of a corset but not that oh my god my ribs hurt of the of a corset really lovely little belt it's not that thick here so if you can see in the light there is like a bit of a fold here from i think me sitting down in it but for the money i mean it's a fantastic little buy really great especially if you're new to the scene and you're not sure and you don't want to spend a fortune that is a brilliant belt you can then wear it with all sorts dresses skirts and tops you can wear it as a corset i love it love it brilliant little buy okay we have my jawbreaker belt here this is the five rings five ring yeah five ringed jawbreaker belt i actually i have a brand new one of these as well so the reason i have a brand new one of these is because i bought this um maybe about two years ago before london edge and it looks amazing with most things i really like the shape where it's tapered like this it's really flattering again gives that illusion of a corset but isn't the only thing is the elastic has started to sag here near here so it's definitely look if you can see it's it's sort of gone here here it's still very stretchy but here the elasticity has gone i think it's because i wore it when i was a bit chunky last christmas and stretched it out <laughs> so what i've done is I've got that one, the brand spanking new one, for when I am at my skinniest and I only wear it when I am at the weight I am supposed to be. And then as soon as I get off of that weight and start getting a little bit chunkier, I wear this one so that I don't ruin that one. I mean, they're very reasonably priced and so many people have done copies of this now. I mean, I thoroughly love Jawbreaker. I think they're a fantastic brand. 
but I think you can get copies of this off of Amazon and eBay. I've seen a lot of people with a four ringed one and a six ringed one actually, but I think this is the original jawbreaker design as it were. But yeah, it's, I mean, bearing in mind that it's taken nearly two years for that elastic to start going. So, you know, it did it over time. And I think it was only because I wore it when I would, I'd put on like nearly a stone and, and try, still tried to squeeze into the same belt. So it's kind of my own fault, really. I should have just worn a different belt. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm stubborn, so. <laughs> We've got some Creepsville 666 belts. I love Creepsville 666. They are one of the brands that I have been into for years. And even though my style has changed quite a lot, they seem to stick with me. So when I was into the gothabilly, rockabilly stuff, really like the skull necklaces. You've seen me wearing them in loads of different videos. They work really well as a 50s style, like graduated bead necklace. Love their stuff with that. Then when I had had the kids, I was very into the, they've got like the skeleton or the skull motif dresses they're like a skater dress very simple jersey I've, I had one in almost every color I mean some of them I wore them so much I had to throw them away because they just I couldn't get the smell of sweat out of them anymore because I just worn them and worn them and worn them so really thoroughly thoroughly like those and then you know as they've moved on they seem to have sort of moved with me which is great so we've got two different belts here these are sized as well they come sized so you can you know I think they go up to plus sizes as well. I'm sure I've seen somebody on Alternative Fashion Addicts Anonymous mention that they go up to plus sizes, which is flipping fantastic. So here we go. This is the skull one in silver. It's very cool. This skull one looks amazing with, um, I've got some skull jewelry from House of Bats um, and it looks fantastic having like the skull on the belt with the skull necklace and the little skull earrings. Again, love, love, love that. This one, oh, this one. This one is a black bat. I think you can get it in silver as well if you want the silver bat. Um, the I love this belt. The only problem is these, well, this bit jabs in like the bottom of your belly and these, when you sit down, it sort of stabs you inside. I love it. I mean, to be honest, it's because it's a small to medium and it's on the smaller side. And at the moment I am a bit a bit chunky. So it's sticking into bits that hopefully won't be there when I've continued on my journey. I'm doing all right, doing all right. So, but it's a beautiful belt. It's really, really beautiful. It goes with so many things. I mean, you know, everything looks fantastic with a bat with it. And it looks great with that little Necessary Evil Medina cape thing. That, I, oh, I love that. I love that little cape. It looks fantastic with everything. I mean, Necessary Evil have got so much bat stuff. There's a buy one, get one free sale at Kate's Clothing at the moment, by the way. <laughs> Just to let you know. But yeah, love, love, love a bat belt. And I know they still sell this and I'm, I know it's sized. I'm pretty sure I got this from Little Boutique when they have that sale thing on Tuesday where you bid. I can't remember what it's called. I cannot remember what it's called, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is still on their website. I might be wrong, but if it is, I will definitely link them down below. Okay, we're on to the kill star. I bet you this is what you've all been waiting for, isn't it? You're on to the kill star. So, the first one that we have, I love this belt. Now, I will put the names up there because I didn't have time to look up all the names of all these belts. I will put the names up there so that you can look for them if they are still available. This first one, I've had this one quite a long time. I think this is the first Killstar belt I bought. I might be wrong. It's got these lovely double, double buckles. So, you know, if you're really skinny, you can do it up so that there's no hole, you know, there's no gap. I do it up so there's a gap. Or if you're bigger, you can do it up so there's lots of gap which is great. It means unless you are really, really plus size, it fits you because as we all know, Killstar do not size their belts, which is really crap customer service, I'm afraid, but we've all moaned, they don't change, but never mind. But no, this belt is gorgeous. It goes with so many different things. It's great for a cinch in, you know, I really like, again, the shape, it gives it that sort of corset style because it's, it's sort of tapered here. Love the, the eyelets on it. I've got so many clothes with eyelet details on, so it always looks fantastic with those. Love this Killstar belt. Okay, the next one that we've got, another Killstar belt. This one I wanted because it's got all these pentacles on, and I love a pentacle. 
I wanted it to go with all the things that I have that have pentacles on them. This one is not tapered. So this one is slightly less flattering, but it does have a set of four studs at the back and you can have it so it's either you do it up on the first row, you do it up so that they're matching or you do it up so that you've only got one row done. You know, so it's like that. So it is a teeny bit sized, again, you know, they could do a small to medium and a large to extra large or something like that. I don't really understand why they don't. They'd sell more units, a lot more units, I think. But this is a great little belt. Again, it looks fantastic with everything. It's quite quite secure stretch on this elastic. It, You know, you feel like you've been sucked in. I do thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly like this belt. I think usually, I tend to go for this one more just because the shape of it just is slightly more flattering than this one but this is a really nice belt but again this one i think is just a better seller this is the curses chain belt this belt is the only thing that i have ever bought from killstar on full price well i didn't buy it full price because i managed to find a black friday code on one of her youtube videos for 10 percent off but i normally only buy anything from killstar if it's at least 20 percent off but i love this belt it looks great with everything it's really really gives an outfit a little bit of something extra especially with these dangly bits it gives it quite a, bo a boho you know look which i love and the last one the last belt i absolutely adore this belt but it is seriously small i have done a video on this before but i thought as i am doing my belt video i should really you know address this i love this belt i've worn it to London Edge. I've, it looks fantastic with these chains that hang down at the side and the leather straps and yes it's adjustable. There's loads of different holes here. My god they must have made it for a stick insect. I am a UK 8 to 10 and I have to wear it on the last hole, on the biggest hole and I mean there's no way if you're anything over a 10 you're even doing this damn thing up. I it seems bonkers to me to manufacture something that you can only sell to 15% of your buying population. Crazy. Don't get me wrong. It looks freaking amazing. And I really like the fact that you can take all the chains off, all of these unclip. So if you want to, you can just have it as the double layer belt. To be honest, I don't really see why you would want that. It's kind of a bit boring like that. But I suppose you could add extra things on if you wanted to or clip them in a different way if you were feeling adventurous maybe <laughs> i absolutely love it i think it looks amazing i mean the the faux leather feels fabulous but yeah you have got to be pretty skinny really for it to be suitable for you i know a load of people on the killstar addicts anonymous group that we have on facebook commented saying that there is a dupe for it on ASOS I think but I mean that may have been at the time I know ASOS cycles through pretty quick I think you can find dupes the quality is not going to be as good but it is a fantastic belt I do really enjoy it but yeah if you're over a size 10 don't bother don't bother that is my entire belt collection I hope you enjoyed that video I enjoyed showing you all as you can see, there's been loads of different brands. Before the end of the video, I have started a Necessary Evil clothing cult group on Facebook. If you are into Necessary Evil, I am into Necessary Evil, very much into Necessary Evil. Come join us, we discuss everything, sizing, styling, where, can, where to buy it, money off, how to style something, reviews, just photos of yourself rocking your nest some of your necessary evil in an outfit we want you there so please search for us come join us we would love to have you there also there is the alternative fashion addicts anonymous group on facebook the killstar addicts anonymous group on facebook and the punk rave group that i and mama goth now help run as well we have our fingers in lots of pies <laughs> so <laughs> If you would like to come and join any of those groups, please feel free, we'd love to have you. Remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy.